Hey guys, Serpent Resource here. Back in another Excel tutorial, a uh, continuation from the last one. I'm going to show you how to use the if command. Now the if command uh, is pretty useful. It checks if something is at a certain variable. It'll say something, <clears throat> else it'll say something else. So we'll just copy that here and paste that there. Sorry, just uh, had a drink there. It's uh, hard work talking. Yep. <clears throat> so, this is going to check. Oops, that's wrong column. It's meant to be here. This is going to check how wealthy you are. So, it's going to help with money decisions in this game. <coughs> So this is the if command. Equals to uh, state that you're starting a command and if in capitals. Here it'll have, well it'll show, logical test, value if true, value if false. So basically, it tests here and tests that. So if that is there, it'll say that. Else it'll say that. Okay? So yes, just took another drink. So if I press enter, here type zero. No, it's at zero. <coughs> I type ninety-nine, still casual. But if I go over this ninety-nine mark here, it's basically saying if C nineteen has a bigger number than ninety-nine, it'll say I'm wealthy. And if it doesn't so the number is smaller than 99 or 99 it'll say I'm casual casual wealth so <coughs> here as soon as I type 100 boom I'm a wealthy douchebag so uh, yeah <laughs> come at me bro um, there's quite a lot you can do with the if statement and you can also use it in conjunction with the lookup statement, which I will show you now. Um, in here, you know, that's the if statement. I used the lookup statement to make leveling system. <clears throat> this is simply done by having an XP value you enter yourself and a level. <clears throat> so I'll just explain this here. I'll copy it and paste it. Lucky I copied it. Remember to press enter, guys. Paste it here. Set <coughs> C20 to there. Set C20 to there. <coughs> okay. I apologize for the coughing. Anyways. I mean, I know it's not a good thing to hear on camera. Um, so this will test if there is a smaller valuable, sorry, wow, valuable, if there is a smaller variable at C21 than 99, it'll say zero. <coughs> so that's the level you are. So that's basically to start off at zero every time. So if <coughs> no smaller than ninety nine, zero. So if you got less than zero XP sorry, less than ninety nine XP <coughs> sorry, if you got ninety nine or less XP it'll say zero. Else so if there is more than ninety nine XP <clears throat> you'll execute the lookup command, you don't need an equal sign and the same, and it'll look for these values and give the level values so it's just simply combining them, so we press enter we go here and type <clears throat> 99 okay, that screwed up we type 100, that's 1 <coughs> wow we type 98, it, yeah it just What's the screw up at 99? Well, not 88. 
Hold on. Okay. Doesn't like 99, but 199 is good. <laughs> still 100. Sorry, still level 1. So, I made this so you level in 10s. So 100. <clears throat> then 1,000. 10,000. 100,000. 1,000 thousands. <laughs> there we go. That's level 5. That's the max I've implemented. <clears throat> With the power of the lookup feature, you can of course implement more. Just keep adding numbers. Ah, uh, that's the leveling system. <coughs> so that's using if in conjunction with lookup. Now, I think we're missing one thing. And I haven't really seen many RPGs without it. We're missing that little character over in the side. Yeah, you know that character? That character. <laughs> For that, my friends, we're going to use the lookup command. <coughs> Damn coughing. Anyways. Here. And press Control V. Change this location to race. So change this location to race. Screw this, it's just no. B five. Let's look up the B five. Oops. One. <coughs> and three. So this will look if you okay. But there's a lot more. <coughs> so in one, make the human's legs. Boop boop. Two elf's legs. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Three dwarf's legs. Boop, boop. That's done. Control C that. Oh yeah, we don't have an equal sign. Don't forget the equal sign, guys. Yes, I accept your correction. I don't see the error in the... <laughs> oh wow, C5, sorry, not B5. <coughs> okay, we got legs. Now I'm going to center this. Go over here. Control V. Equals sign. C5. Capitals because it looks nice. I'm gonna do the elf. Boop boop. Human. Boop. 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 And the dwarf with his tiny little babby body. Boop. 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 There we go. <clears throat> what error is it this time? Apparently there was an error I wasn't... I don't think there was an error. Anyways. So yes, if I choose dwarf, sorry, elf, we have that. And finally, the babby dwarf. Yeah. So I like looking at the elf to make sure that it works so we're good. <clears throat> Let's see. Control Z, enter. Press enter, guys. Um, so this would be the human's head. This would be the elves. Ok, 
at this will be the owl's body oops screwed that up <clears throat> and there's nothing for the baby dwarf okay well no we do want to send it in <clears throat> okay same here Nothing for the human. Humans you know, don't want a human getting too tall. Stem here. The elf. Nothing for the dwarf. ASCII. Oh, let's do this. Um, human. Nice large head. The elf. Nothing for the dwarf. That is not a large head. So we got a human. We got dwarf. I change his head to a zero. And then we got elf. There we pretty much have it. Now all we need is the border, and then we're done. Border's pretty easy. <coughs> if the thing comes up for it. Oh my god. Cell styles. There it is. Cell styles. Okay. Check cell. Yeah. I think so. So yes. Um this is um yeah, how to make an RPG sheet character sheet in Excel. Um it's been fun. Definitely has been fun. You can add a bit more you know there is the insert pictures and all that and you can just make a pretty good character sheet in this. <laughs> Using the programmable functions, I believe this has a lot of potential for this kind of stuff. So yes, before my voice gives out for some weird reason, I'd like to see you guys later. And of course, yes, this did very much appear like our other one. Just a bit bigger in some dimensions. But yeah. I'll... See you guys later. Have fun with your new ASCII art RPG character sheet. I'll see you guys later. Bye.